Welcome to A Word of Hope. I'm Brother Edward coming to you from my new home at St. Vincent Ferrer Priory in River Forest, Illinois. Today's gospel can be a bit perplexing, and maybe we might even say a little offensive if we read it just as it is, without the context in which Jesus is speaking. Some of the crowd that Jesus is speaking to tells him that his mother and his relatives are outside and want to talk to him. And Jesus uses that uh, fact as a kind of a foil for him to preach something very profound. And so he says, who is my mother and who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of the Father is my brother, my sister, and my mother. If I had been Jesus' mother, I would have been a bit offended, I think, at that time. But what Jesus is talking about and why he's talking about this is what preceded this gospel was the fact that his opposition among the Pharisees was coming from their conviction that because they were the children of Abraham, that if you will, they were part of Israel, the Jewish people, that in itself was salvific. They were safe because they were Jewish people following the way of, of Israel. But Jesus is saying something more profound, that these relationships that God has given us on the natural level of our parents and self are good, but there is a more profound relationality that exists by living the will of God. The spiritual bonds that we can form among ourselves as church, as disciples, and as apostles is a profound and deep bond that goes beyond blood relationships. If you will, it's family of the spirit. And those are the bonds that deepen us with Christ and his Father. So he's, if you will, applying a bit of a corrective while not denying that Mary is his mother and that the disciples and cousins and relatives that he has by blood are part of his family. But the most profound family we all have is those that are bonded within the spirit. So today when we reflect upon our relationship with Christ, realize that we have an invitation to the most intimate belonging to Jesus than we can imagine beyond our blood relatives, beyond our family tree to the very tree of God himself.